Hey, welcome to this Windows channel, and this is a Tech News Update. We are Friday, March 24th, 2017. And today in our Tech News Update, we have Microsoft and Toyota that are teaming up to um, basically create connected cars. Microsoft is, you know, uh, teaming up here and there with different companies to uh, be in the software side of, of course, self-driving cars. But also, a lot of... Uh, what Microsoft would wants to do, and it's kind of a different avenue than pretty much every other um, company, is they want to be there for the connected side of the cars. Because, of course, the autonomous cars are connected all the time, and they need to communicate. And Microsoft says that its infrastructure is the best to do that type of communication. So, partnership with Toyota, and uh, we'll see what eventually comes out as uh, Toyota will eventually bring self-driving cars and connected cars to the market. We have a report that says that uh, Apple is about to build and uh, manufacture iPhones in India. So um, it's an unconfirmed report, but they say that uh, the Indian market would uh, probably have its own plans to create or manufacture the iPhone 6, 6S, apparently. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see that they're expanding their, um, you know, manufacturing across uh, countries around the world, but uh, pretty much staying short of manufacturing iPhones in the United States, as Donald Trump wants. Well, this one is a big one. Uh, the U.S. Senate voted that there is no permission needed to actually get your browsing history from an internet service provider. Yep, that's pretty much what they said. So that means that your browsing history in, um, and, and don't think that it's that part in your computer. That's one part of your browsing history, but the internet, internet service provider has your browsing history of what you're doing on the internet. Well, that, if anybody, police, wants to have that information about you, they actually don't need any warrants and it's deemed that uh, this is not sensitive information. Well, I want to beg to differ here because one of the things that I think is a big problem is this is sensitive information. It is very personal. What you do on the internet, I don't think that should happen. And I think this is a horrible, horrible uh, law to, uh, to, to, to let people... Uh, you know, lose their privacy like this. And uh, more and more in the United States is really doing these uh, bad decisions and uh, really sad to see. Microsoft still looking into why for two weeks in a row the Microsoft account logins or uh, sign-in was disrupted. Millions of users uh, have not been able to log into their accounts uh, two days ago about you know started like on Tuesday and ended on Wednesday and we had the same outage one or two weeks ago and uh, Microsoft seems to be in the dark as to why it happens but they say they are continuing their investigation as to why this is happening and finally uh, kind of interesting we're getting a little more details about the Apple uh, you know that that Turkish group that says they're gonna hack into or erase all the accounts of uh, iCloud, iPhones, erase iPhones, do a lot of damage. On April 7th, we've learned that, first of all, the ransom is per user. So basically, they want to have, like, you know, millions of dollars, basically. They also want to have a million dollar in uh, iTunes credentials that they can actually use to buy stuff. Apple says that their servers have not been breached. But they seem to acknowledge that there's some of that information that might actually be real information, but by third-party um, companies, you know, that might have been breached. Meaning, for example, some of that information there might be if you've been, uh, you know, breached in Yahoo and you've got a uh, iPhone or an iPad, and of course you've got an Apple ID with ma a password. Well, that's where it might stand. So, I'm not totally sure that this is really bogus in a sense that 
I think some people might actually have a surprise on April 7th. So if you do have an iPad or an iPhone or any uh, Apple products that requires a, uh, and that you have, of course, an Apple ID, change your password. I think it would be a safe thing to do because here everything indicates, you know, Apple did not have a data breach, but they might have some of your information if you use the same password somewhere else. So, you know, why not be on the safe side and change your password? And if something happens, well, you might not be part of the mayhem on April 7th. Of course, Apple says also that the uh, they have uh, uh, taken law enforcement and uh, that law enforcement is investigating and trying to find who these bad guys are. So this was the Tech News Update for Friday, March 24th, 2017. Today on our Tech News, hope you enjoyed. If you enjoy, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And thank you so much for following us on this channel.